A boat explosion in Ocean Isle left three people severely injured late this afternoon. Two of them had to be airlifted from the scene. WWY's Basil John was at the docks where it all happened. It's a big story tonight at 11. Basil, what did witnesses tell you? Amanda, what they saw was panic and chaos at the Ocean Isle Fishing Center docks. Many people ran as soon as they heard the explosion and others were able to help the victims. We just heard a loud boom, kind of looked over, guy rolled over. A sunny and bright afternoon in Ocean Isle Beach turned into a grim and frightening one as a boat exploded right off a dock, severely injuring three people. We then saw two or three people get out, two ran up the, up the ramp, another came running towards us. Emergency crews responded to 911 calls around 4 p.m. as people were trying to get away. Some people say they helped the victims as much as they could. I really didn't know what to do. I mean, I kind of just stood there and that guy came running at it or running towards us saying help and he was in pretty bad shape. And then we kind of snapped out of it and just tried to get off the dock. According to Ben Morris, instead of filling the tank, someone from the boat filled the bilge of the boat. And then when they removed the battery, it caused a spark and blew up. It literally sounded like someone stuffed dynamite into the gas, into the hole of the boat and lit it on fire. And it was just a loud boom, kind of looked around, and I saw that everyone was running away, darting away, and so my, I saw my boss was gone, and so I just followed suit. When you see a fire next to a fire, uh, gas pump, you don't really stick around much to see what happens. Witnesses say the flames got incredibly close to the gas tanks, but staff on site rushed to shut off the pumps. Had everyone evacuated, 90 seconds at least, shut the gas off, had that handled, called 911, had that handled. Fire department was here maybe two minutes. Many are just happy it didn't turn out worse than it did. I mean, I'm glad nobody else was hurt. I really hope those who did get burned are okay. Um, I really want to say thanks to, I got off the phone with 911 and I think the fire department, EMS, and all of them were here within like two or three minutes. I mean, they were Johnny on the spot and they, it could have got real bad if they didn't get here as fast as they did. So, According to the witnesses, they saw one of the victims completely engulfed in flames. There's no word on the extent of the victim's injuries. Uh, if it wasn't for the fast-acting decisions of the staff, the pumps could have exploded, making the situation a lot worse. Amanda? Wow, thank you, Basil.